Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of MoneroCraft 2.0, our Minecraft modded survival series. Hope you guys are prepared to play with some mods, put some blocks down and build some stuff today. I know it might come as a huge shock but that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, in fact, we're actually going to be taking a bit of a break from Batania today. But do not fret for those of you enjoying it, we will be returning back to it very very soon. But today what we're going to be doing is we are going to get a start on Railcraft. Now, the reason I've impromptly just kind of decided to begin with Railcraft and get the basic manufacturing of tracks and parts and stuff up and running is because when I was looking into more Botania, I discovered that you can make a mine cart with a mana pool on it. Not only that, but you can also make a thing called a mana pump, which as you might assume will pull mana from like a mana pool and pump it into something else. So I thought we could set up a minecart track with a, a, with a mana pool on it and have a really cool system of transferring mana around to parts further away that we're going to be also setting up in the future with Botania. And in order to do that, of course, we need to make minecart tracks and we need to delve into Railcraft to make minecart tracks because Railcraft completely overhauls the way that you make tracks, uh, but it also gives you access to a whole bunch of really cool ones. As you can see here, there is a ton of new ones, but even just making the most basic tracks, which we're going to hopefully get done today, um, it takes quite a bit of work. So as you can see here, not your standard recipe. We have these standard rails and we have these wooden rail beds we need to make. So to make the standard rails, we actually need to make ourselves a rolling machine and it just crushes down iron. Pretty simple. Uh, but to make the wooden rail beds, we need to make these wooden ties. Now to make the wooden ties, we need to get ourselves some creosote. Or I think that's how you pronounce it, creosote. Yeah, we're just going to say creosote. Uh, so we need to get creosote, combine it with some slabs. And the way that we get creosote is in a coke oven. So we need to make ourselves a coke oven and a rolling machine today. But we're not just going to place them down anywhere and make them look ugly. We're going to build a beautiful looking structure or building to house them. And it'll probably house our future mine cart related um, items and machinery and stuff like that. And I've set down a little area where we're going to begin today. I've got the base frame down and it is over here. As I mentioned previously, with the quarry being there, this looks like a little bit of an industrial zone, so I thought it'd be fitting to have it over here. Now, I know that the building doesn't look like much at the moment, it's just a big square block, but trust me, it'll look good once we're done, uh, hopefully at least. First, we've got to take out the marching band here that's trying to get funky fresh with us. Alright, you guys go away. They're so rude. Uh, now, hopefully, I have everything we need today in this chest. I've got a bunch of building materials here. we got cobblestone, we got wooden stuff we're going to build the structure out of. I've got a ton of sand and a ton of clay because we need those to make the coke oven. Uh, those are currently cooking at the moment because I want to use some glass. Also got some clay brick cooking in here as well. I might take those out so that can continue cooking and we'll grab another half a stack here. Uh, we'll let that get to one stack and we'll take it out as well I think. Um, how much sand do I have here? We might need this sand as well because you had sand and brick to make the coke oven blocks. And the coke oven's a multi-structured type thing that should hopefully, if we make it right, turn into a functioning device. Uh, while we're waiting for more clay to cook up, because I don't think we have enough bricks at the moment, uh, we're going to start by making ourselves a rolling machine, which is pretty easy to make, thankfully. Uh, so rolling machine. Uh, this thing needs to be provided with power, which is why I also brought over a leadstone energy cell and some leadstone flux duck piping and things like that. First, let's go kill this guy who wants to come and get us. Ooh, were those mandrake seeds? Are those mandrake seeds that just dropped? I think they might be. Yes, we def- Oh, hello. Oh no, it's another marching drum man. What are you doing? Get out of here. This is my home. This is why we need to build this building up as well, so we can keep these goons out while we're working here. Uh, so, let's just dump that stuff back in there. Uh, now, what do we need for the rolling machine? We need iron, we need pistons, we need a crafting table. All pretty easy to make. So we'll use, I'm um, just trying to think what wood I'm going to use more predominantly. Um, we'll use some of the spruce wood because I think I'm going to use oak a bit more. We need cobblestone, uh, we need iron, and we need redstone, we need our leadstone energy. Leadstone flux pipe and our crescent hammer, maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, so let's see if we can get this made super quickly. No. Excuse me. Oh, that's right. We need to actually convert some of this over. So there we go. Let's make ourselves a crafting table here. Uh, let's get these pistons made as well. So how many did we need? We actually needed four. So we have, oops, we have the perfect number. So one, two, three, and four. I hear that. Be gone. 
What is with these marching drum guys? Is there a band on somewhere here? Is there a ceremony I don't know about? Sons of guns. Uh, all right, so now that we have that, we should be able to get the rolling pin machine made. And there it is, rolling machine, da 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 da. Fantastic. Uh, so where do we want to put it? I think I want to centralize the coke oven. So if we centralize the coke oven up the back here, that'd be about there and it goes to there. So maybe we put the rolling machine there. Uh, let's get our leadstone energy cell and we'll place that there and let's get our energy piping We'll put it there because this requires RF to function and we have zero in there at the moment So we just need to configure this um, And have the energy come out that side. This should fill up. There we go. Perfect. It only holds 5,000 uh, This has 400,000 RF in it. So we got plenty of power for it now What we need to do is I believe you just put the iron like that and it should start making it um, that's not making it. What's going on here? Maybe I need to put more in there. Um, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, it spreads it out for you and everything. Cool. So that'll make us eight, and that's eight times five. I'm not going to do the math because I'll fail miserably, but it should get us quite a few uh, standard rails there. I've recently emptied out our quarry, so we have a ton of iron at the moment. So I might just put another half stack in there. May as well use some of this up. And I love the way that it actually divides it up automatically for you. Wait, whoa, 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 hello. Another one! Another one. Alright, where's the ceremony? What's going on here? Am I missing out on some fantastic music? Where are these bongo drums going on? Um, okay, so... This is making our standard rails for us, which is perfecto. That's what we want. Let's dump this stuff back in here that we don't need at the moment. Uh, and then let's see how much clay we have and see if we have enough, or at least enough bricks here, uh, to make ourselves. We'll take this glass out. Uh, we'll take that out. Put the glass in there because I'm going to build with glass. Uh, let's see if we have enough bricks to get started here with the coke oven. I hope we have enough. It isn't overly difficult. Let's just search it up here. Dot, 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 coke block. There we go. Uh, so we just need sand and we need bricks. And the reason I want to get the coke oven made before we begin building this building is it takes a long time to cook up coal into the creosote oil. So I figured we'd get it built, we'd put some coal in there, and while we're building, it'll cook it up for us and it should be done by the time we're done. Uh, so bricks, I think we're going to need more than this. Uh, so let's put this other 32 on. Let's get. Excuse me, rain. Get out of here. Um, let's put some coal in there. Oh, no, we don't need to put that other 32 on. We may as well put the last seven sand in. I can always cook up some more later if need be. Uh, we'll put that over there. Let's get the rest of our sand out. Let's see how many of these we can make. Okay. So we can make 12. Uh, and I think we need about 19 or something like that. Oh, bloody horrible rain. Is it going to be night time soon? I think so. So if it's going to be nighttime soon, we can sleep and get rid of the rain. Oh, it already is, apparently. I just didn't see a notification pop up with something spooky. Must have been a safe night. The rain should stop now. Go away, rain. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so let's get our 12 coke oven blocks. And this is a 3x3x3 three by three by three structure. Uh, is that center? Yeah, that's center. Um, and this bad boy is uh, quite simple to make. You just need a lot of materials. And then this goes up like that. And this piece here needs to be hollow. And then we build it up three high. And that should hopefully work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put more clay on in here. To get the bricks cooking up a little bit quicker. Let's get some more sand out here. Um, we'll make as many more as we can. So we got six more. Cool. Alright. So this goes like that. And then we bring the top across. And it's as simple as that. It's not overly difficult to make. And once we complete it, it should transform itself. Uh, hopefully, at least, if we did everything right. So we got those cooking there. All right, let's get some more made here. Um, that might be enough. I think we might be like one short. Oh, no, we're way more than one short. I just can't count. Okay, we need one, two, three, and four more. All right, let's play the waiting game here. <laughs> Fantastic. I had this cooking for a while too. I thought it would be enough, but we do need quite a bit as you can see. Uh, we got plenty of glass. While we're waiting for the last bit to cook up, let's get out cobblestone here. Um, let's get out our wood here and more cobblestone. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert all this cobblestone over with our handy dandy little chisel that we have here. And uh, what I've done is I've used the French 
French cobblestone tiles for the floor, and I've used the aligned cobblestone bricks for the walls. So we're going to make some more aligned cobblestone bricks because we're going to use cobblestone to build up the walls a bit. Uh, then we're going to use some wood to make like a roof feature and stuff like that. It should look cool, hopefully. Fingers crossed it looks alright. Uh, so let's just get a whole bunch of this converted over while we are waiting. I wish there was a quicker way to do this. There must be some quicker way that I just haven't figured out here. And I hope this will be enough. This should be enough cobblestone if we run out at all. Our quarry's just over there and it is absolutely full of cobblestone. I actually had to empty out all the chests because it started overflowing. Uh, so we got a ton of copper and iron and stuff cooked up now. Uh, let's get some more bricks out here and hopefully that'll be enough. How many did we need? One, two, three, four. So we needed four more. Let's see how many we get here. Um, one, two, three, and four. Perfect. So let's take these out. Um, might need that clay for something in the future. So we're going to put it back in there. And I think we have everything we need on us, guys. Let's see if this works and it changes formation here. So we'll jump down and put the last block in and have a look at it. Boom. There we go. Okay. So it now has an interface. And all we have to do is provide this with coal and it'll cook it and the cool thing is you can actually put coal blocks in as i said though i believe from what i read it takes roughly 15 minutes to make one coal block so let's put in um let, oh, let's just put in six screw it let's put in as many as we can here and we'll get it cooking or seven sorry i cannot count and that will start cooking it down it'll make creosote and then we can get the creosote out with the bucket we have in here and we can start making components to make minecart tracks but as you can see this hasn't even moved yet that's how long it takes so we've got a bit of time on our hands so using that time let's begin building up this building and try to turn it into something beautiful we're going to start with cobblestone here and i believe we'll just build the walls up a little bit and then we'll see what we can do with the roof And behold, guys, there it is, our complete 
building for our minecart rail craft kind of stuff not really sure what its purpose is but uh, I think it turned out all right it looks pretty cool I also had an idea once I had kind of finished it and I was sitting back and having a look at it seeing if I liked it that maybe we could have like a little balcony or tunnel system that comes out the side here and we can have a minecart going all the way along through the middle of that hill up to home tree or something that could be an idea because hopefully now we have enough creosote oil to actually make some minecart tracks so let's go in Inside and check on that while I'm running in there. Let me know what you guys think of the building. I love the way it looks inside. It's nice and airy. I like the pattern on the roof. Um, it'll look awesome when we have lots of machinery and stuff in here. So as I said, let me know if you like it or not. Let me know of any improvements we can make. Anyway, let's now move on to making ourselves some minecart tracks. Finally, we're going to get some basic ones made today. Got some more glass in there. Okay, glass, you go back in there. Uh, we still have some materials left over, which is really, really nice. This has plenty of power, and we have plenty of standard rails in here. We have a whole stack, in fact. So let's pull those out. I'm guessing it won't use one, because that's the pattern. It kind of saves that pattern in there, so you can mass produce these. Uh, but hopefully a stack of standard rails will be enough for us to do this. Uh, the next thing we of course need to do is check on our creosote oil. So we have two cooked up already. I put another block in there um, and that is 9,000 creosote oil which is nine buckets. So we'll be able to make nine of these wooden ties we need to make. Uh, so let's search these up. Uh, we'll be able to make nine of these, and that should be more than enough to get at least some basic tracks made. Uh, what we need is we need some wood. We've got plenty of leftover spruce planks, so we'll use those. Uh, of course, we need our bucket as well. So let's get our bucket out here. Let's, um, how do we do this? I think I just need to place it in the top here, and it fills it up. So that's one bucket down, and then we go to our crafting table here. And let's divide these up so we can, you know, make multiples of these uh, like that. Then we put our bucket in the top and we get ourselves a wooden tie. Oh, that is awesome. Can I just right click this? Oh, I can. There we go. Okay. So that makes it a lot easier. So one more wooden tie and we need about four of these. Oh, I actually need to fill the bucket up. Okay. Well, there we go. Another one here. Another wooden tie. Fantastic. And then we put that in there. And we get one more wooden tie, and that should be enough, hopefully, to make what we need to make here. Maybe we should make two, or at least eight wooden ties, and that way uh, we get ourselves... Um, how many would that make? That would be 64 tracks, because I believe the wooden ties here... Um, wait, that's saying 60... Oh, that's a suspended track. The wooden ties, I thought, made 32. I think, yeah. So that goes into that. There we go, 32. So if we get double lot... That means, I think what I'm saying makes sense in a roundabout, bumbling sort of way. We'll have a stack of tracks, so maybe we should do that. Uh, so let's get more creosote out here. And let's get some more made. We said that we could make nine, didn't we? So we should have enough here. And hopefully that last bit of coal that's going through now should cook up. So we just need to make a few more. I'm pretty sure we can automate all of this process if we want. But for now, we'll put a little bit of elbow grease and manual labor into it. We got eight there, so now we need to take these out. And we need to put these eight like that. And we get out our wooden rail beds here. And then we take our wooden, wooden rail beds, we put them in the middle. And we put our standard tracks on either side here. And we now have a stack of minecart tracks. Awesome. Oh, that is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. We did it, guys. We, we done something. We have a whole stack of them. That is awesome. I love the way this works. A little bit complicated, a little bit tricky, but it is fantastic once you get it all working. Uh, it's a cool system. Now, the other thing that we're going to need to make as well, let's look up all the different tracks we can make. But the other ones I'm thinking we might need are, I believe, booster tracks, they're called. One-way gated tracks, control tracks... Locking tracks, dis I don't know, there's so many here, activator tracks, detector tracks, I think we need booster tracks as well, now booster tracks require gold, they require pretty much the same process except we're using gold, standard rails, and some redstone as well, we get 16 of those, that should hopefully be enough, so I might quickly run back up to home tree, uh, I'll grab myself some gold, and I 
think that's the only component we need. Uh, and let's see if we can get some booster tracks made as well. Because booster tracks, as you might suspect, give you a speed boost when you go over them. Because uh, standard tracks just won't cut it. The mine cart won't go anywhere without momentum. So if you're trying to go up hills or you're going across flat ground, you need something to speed them up. And all you have to do is provide the booster tracks with a redstone signal. And hopefully that works. So we'll get some of those made as well. We only have four gold. That could be an issue. Huh. Oh no, actually, that's right. As I mentioned before, I cooked up a whole bunch of ore and stuff from our quarry because I emptied it out and got rid of all the... took out all the ores and that. So hopefully we have some here. Yes, we do. We have 19. And look at all the iron we have and all the copper we have. We have lots and lots of materials at the moment. Let's sleep in our sleeping bag, get rid of the night, head back down, and we can make ourselves some uh, booster tracks here. So, first of all, I might actually charge my jetpack really quickly. That's not gaining power for some reason. I did just put more charcoal in this, so that could just be the problem. Uh, hasn't even filled it up all the way. That's fine. We'll take it out as is. It's almost full. And it is time to fly. My god, those glistening picks and things are very, very noisy. Uh, I bet there's going to be goons in our little building already. Guarantee it. There will be goons in here. And if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll eat uh, my hat. Isn't that... That's a saying. Um... There's nothing in here. Alright, better eat my hat. What hat are we actually wearing? Oh, that's right, we're wearing the pickaxe in the head, or the axe in the head. Um, oh, we're going to put a Dalek on our head. Alright, fantastic. <laughs> okay then, don't know why, but we just are. Uh, Alright, we got gold. So what we need to do now is we need to make ourselves some more wooden rail beds. We'll just make one this time. We should hopefully have enough creosote because it should have cooked while we were away doing stuff. So let's get um, our bucket out here. Let's grab these out of here because we need to put these um, in the rolling machine. So we'll want to put them like that. Oh, it's dividing them up again. That's so cool. Um, all right. So now let's get... Where did I put all those slabs? Those leftover spruce wood slabs. Again, we'll put these in here. Uh, Bucket, you come to me. And what else did we need to get booster tracks made? So let's just get these done first. So we need four of these. It's a slow process, but it is still a fun process. I love playing around with new mods, and I've never actually played around with Railcraft before. So this is all pretty much brand new to me. Um, all right, so we got four of those there. That's all we needed. Um, we can turn these into the wooden rail bed now. And then what we need to do is we need to get redstone and gold. And we need to put the redstone and the gold in our rolling machine over here. So redstone and gold and that should hopefully do something oh no i need to put more in like that and like that and we get eight of those and that should hopefully be enough i think for what we need because uh, we only need six okay cool Alrighty. so there we go we got eight of those click to craft oh so it won't use it if you only have one in there but if you click it will Oh, okay. We may as well make some more there. That's fine. We'll grab those back out. And let's see if we can get some booster tracks made, guys. I think we have everything we need. So, we just got 16 booster tracks. We got 64 normal tracks. I'm feeling pretty darn good. We accomplished some stuff today. We got our tracks made. We're going to be able to set up a cool system for Botania and other stuff. Uh, but... That's going to have to wait until next episode because, unfortunately, I'm all out of time for today's video. It was a hell of a lot of fun, though. We built a beautiful building. We made progress. We got stuff ready to go. It was awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw out a rating. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.